Cristo and Janet Erickson and I went on a mission trip to Minot, North Dakota, Dakota because of the 2011 flood. And we spent the first three days there gutting a house. In other words, we had to take any wall board, plaster, or anything down, all the two by fours that were supporting the house um, had to be open and available. Mm -hmm. um, siding went off, um, a different group did, took the siding from the outside off. Um, they had a sprayer come in and spray all the lumber inside for um, the black mold. And um, of course, whatever we knocked down, we had to carry out to the curb. And we took up one and a half lots of the boulevard just with debris. Wow. Insulation, wood, plaster, whatever was in the house, that's what was there. So by the wheelbarrow load or great big plastic bushel basket load, fill it up, take it out, dump it. About three days. Three days, then Nancy said that this wasn't her type of work. <laughs> so we went to Hope Village, the coordinator who handed out the jobs and told us what job site we were going to go to. Nancy says, is there something else we can do besides this tearing down the houses because I'm not liking this. So we spent one day at the Salvation Army helping them because since the flood they have received truckloads, and I mean semi-truckloads, of clothing from states far away. And the trouble is the Salvation Army isn't even as large as the Salvation Army building here in Norfolk and they're receiving all these semi truckloads of clothing and they have no place to put them. So um, we helped them sort and since they had so much clothes, if it had a stain on it or, or if it was a sweater and it had nubs on it, it was rejected and put in the trash. And we just kept the very, very good stuff. So you sorted that all day, one day? Well, half the day. And okay. the other half the day, they had us dusting their shelves inside the, the store area. And another day... Oh, they sent us around our village, Hope Village. Um, they always liked to keep our little housing units that that Mike Widhelm sends all over the world mm -hmm. in good looking condition. So um, there were other teams that were had paint buckets and they were painting the outsides of these units. Mm -hmm. And we, one day we washed all the sheets at the end of the week because they covered the vinyl mattresses with a bed sheet so that people can put their own sleeping bags or whatever on top of it. Mm -hmm. We washed that. Um, and that took how long? All day. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't realize how many sheets. <laughs> how many sheets were there, do you think? There's pro there's an they have enough space to bed a hundred and sixty seven people wow. at Hope Village. So that'd be hundred and sixty seven yeah. sheets. And we started early in the morning and we didn't get done till right around right before supper. Right. So any other highlights from the event? Where'd you see Jesus while you were there? You know what? Jesus was all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a spot anywhere where Jesus wasn't. That's great. And um, when we first reported to our house on the first day, the owners had just gotten there. Just seconds before, and they greeted us, and we introduced ourselves, and they said how honored they were to have people come in and help them with their house and we said well that's what we came here for to be of service to you so you just let us know what you want us to do and we'll do it and it's just like a great big burden would leave them and we prayed together before we started on our work mm -hmm. so he was always there with everyone all the time.